Welcome to Unit 3. The previous discussions have introduced the elements, fusions and other overlapping and interrelated elements of art in general. In this particular lesson, the elements of visual art specifically on painting are uncovered. Let us start. In discussing visual arts, painting comes as an essential foundation. What is painting? Painting refers to the process of applying color on a flat surface. Painting is a two-dimensional art form that expresses human ideas and emotions. It uses pigments, paints, colors or other mediums which are then applied on a solid surface like paper or canvas. Traditionally, paintbrushes are used to apply these mediums, but mediums have evolved through time. Knives, sponges, and airbrushes have become essential tools, and surfaces like walls, glass, pottery, concrete serve as canvas. Common painting mediums include oil, watercolor, acrylic, fresco, encaustic and tempera. This time, we will have the elements of painting. What are the elements of painting? Do you have any idea? The first element we have is color. Color is a painting element that is derived from light. Color sets the tone, reflects the mood and suggests how the viewers feel about the piece. Artists have endless possibilities in using color in their compositions. Mixing and matching depend on the creative style, technique and purpose of the artist. Working with color means knowing the color theory, as this is essential in unifying and or diversifying colors in a piece, for artistic purposes. Observe the pictures in front. The three different types of colors, primary, secondary and tertiary colors. Basic colors like yellow, red and blue are primary colors. While the combinations of these primary colors are called secondary colors, green, orange and purple. Tertiary colors are those that have the combination of primary and tertiary colors like yellow-orange, red-orange, red-purple, blue-purple, blue-green, and yellow-green. All these 12 primary, secondary and tertiary colors are seen in the color wheel. We also have tone. In the simplest definition, tone is the lightness and darkness of a color. Tone is used to help show the differences of images from light to dark or dark to light. It helps create illusion and dramatic effect in a painting. Tone also gives depth, distance, and rhythm in a composition. It helps show contrasts, harmony, balance, repetition, dominance, gradation and unity in paintings. Every color has almost a limitless variations of tones. A color could be mixed with either light or dark tones depending on the tone s that the artist want to achieve in his work. Well-rounded paintings usually have both of the bright and dark tones with proper highlights and shadows to give additional effect. The degree of contrast between light and dark tones consistently shows highest appeals. Another element is line. A line is the foundation of all forms of drawing or painting since it is the first outcome that artists create. It is a path that moves from one point to another which forms the image created. Lines lead the eyes around and about a composition and help communicate the information or emotion expressed. They can be vertical, horizontal, curved or diagonal. Types of Lines Vertical lines are straight lines that move from up and down, or down and up. In painting, these usually emphasize or communicates height. Horizontal lines are another set of straight lines but move to the sides, left to right or right to left. If vertical lines emphasizes height, horizontal lines suggest width and distance. Diagonal lines are straight lines that are slanting. They convey movement, excitement, and restlessness. Lastly, curved lines are lines that are bent, they can be wavy or spiral. Curved lines convey comfort and ease, and give soft effect in a composition. 
We also have shape and form. Shapes are created through enclosed lines. There are two kinds of shapes, geometric shapes and natural shapes. Geometric shapes, inorganic shapes, are those that have uniform measurements and do not often appear in nature. Examples of these are circles, triangles, squares and many others. While natural shapes, or organic shapes, are those that are associated from nature like plants, animals, etc. Form, on the other hand, is an element that refers to the dimensions of art, width, height, and depth. Observe the painting in front by Francis Campbell Boileau Cadell entitled The Blue Fan 1922, Oil on Canvas. Another one is space. Space are areas in that surround the objects in a painting. They could be found in between, around, above and or below objects. Space could be open or close, and positive or negative. Space is important in painting yet many have overlooked creating the appropriate space which eventually result in crowded, flat and floating appearance. There are six ways to create the illusion of space in painting or drawing or in any two-dimensional surface. Number one is overlapping. This occurs when objects block other objects behind them. Second is, placement on the paper. Objects that are arranged higher in the picture actually appears farther than those placed lower. Third is size. To achieve the effect of farther images, objects must be smaller. Details. Nearer objects need more details. Farther objects need lesser details. Fifth, we have color and value. Far objects should have cooler or brighter color values while closer objects must take warmer or darker color values. Last is perspective. Linear perspective is a method that creates the illusion of space and dimensions in a flat surface. The last element of painting is texture. Texture is the surface quality of an object. It is perceived not just by sight but as well as by touch. Like other elements, texture help convey messages. There are three kinds of texture. Tactile textures. These are textures that can be touched and or felt. Artificial textures. These are man-made surface quality that are supposed to look and feel like the original material. And visual textures. These are textures evoked by a photography or picture depicting an object. In this lesson, we have discussed the elements of painting. That is end of Unit 3, Lesson 1.3.2. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next lesson about sculpture. Goodbye.